the Asakura family got some pretty wild stuff going on. A woman and their family gave birth to twins, and the first baby was actually the reincarnation of their ancestor. How Asakura? He was a really powerful shaman who had tried to destroy all of humanity thousands of years ago. The family was so scared of the baby's power that they tried to kill him. But just as the grandfather was about to strike, a legendary fire spirit appeared to protect the baby. With the spirit's help, the baby managed to escape. The second child was Yo. He had a tough childhood because he was forced to grow up without any freedom. He couldn't choose his own path like other kids his age, and that really sucked. But that's not all. Yo's evil twin brother made things even worse by making everyone see Yo as a monster. As a result, he had no friends and felt really alone. To escape this tragedy, Yo decided to undergo rigorous training with his grandpa. He trained super hard so that one day he could become the Shaman King. This title would give him the freedom to shape the world according to his will. Well, in this world, there are people called shamans who can talk to ghosts, spirits, and even gods. They are super powerful and can connect the spirit world with our world. One day, Yo was stargazing while sitting in a graveyard of legendary samurai named Amitamaru. Yo invited the samurai spirit to become his ally. But Amitamaru refused because he had been waiting for his friend Masuk for the past 600 years and didn't want to leave without him. Yo sadly informed Amitamaru that Masuk had gone to the afterlife. Amitamaru had been carrying regret and guilt, which didn't allow him to pass on. To relieve his pain, Yo gave him the sword forged by Masuk. Seeing Yo's generous act moved Amitamaru so much that he decided to stay in the physical world and accompany Yo on his journey to becoming the Shaman King. The day after, Manta alerted him about an evil Chinese shaman named Ren who wanted to take Amitamaru. Yo was shocked, but he didn't take the warning seriously at first. He believed that anyone who could see spirits couldn't be evil. But his idealistic notion was shattered when he saw Ren cruelly mistreating some thugs by using the spirit ally of a general. Just in time, Yo stopped Ren from killing them and gave the thugs a chance to run away and save their lives. Ren was angered by this interruption and demanded that Yo give him a Mitamaru. But Yo refused because he believed that spirits should be treated with respect and not used as puppets in the hands of evil. Ren laughed at Yo's ideology and used spirits as tools, which only made Yo more disappointed. With their ideologies clashing, the duel began with a clash of swords as Yo and Ren faced off. Yo quickly deflected the attack and attempted to slice his enemy's head, but Ren ducked and pushed back, putting a pause on their fight. Ren realized that Yo wasn't able to use a Mitamaru at its full potential, so he took advantage of this and unleashed a full integration of its spirit general, hitting Yo hard enough to dislocate his arm. Yo collapsed to the ground, but the fight wasn't over yet. As Ren brought his axe down on Yo's neck, Yo realized that the power of soul possession could become even stronger when driven by the will of a shaman. Knowing that he could never reach that level without treating Amitamaru as a tool, Yo ordered his spirit ally to pass to the afterlife instead of getting captured by Ren. But Amitamaru refused to leave and threw himself in front of Yo to protect him, making Ren livid. The enemy used full force to strike, but Yo defended himself with a spear and then integrated with Amitamaru at 100%, proving Ren's theory wrong. With the power of friendship, they both combined and defeated Ren in one blow by slashing his chest. After the fight, Yo lost consciousness due to his injuries and later found himself in the hospital bed. There, Yo's fiancé Anna paid him a visit and forced him to train for the upcoming shaman fight, a tournament that happened once every five centuries, where shamans from all over the world pit against each other to win the title of Shaman King. After surviving Anna's tough training for months, where he was beaten every day, Yo gazes up at the night sky and watches shooting stars, announcing the start of the shaman fight. Sitting under a tree with Amitamaru, Yo plans his upcoming battle. Amitamaru is filled with worry and doubt about his own strength, but Yo reassures his spirit ally that he is strong enough and reminds him to stay focused on the present instead of worrying about the future. Yo's positivity and carefree attitude leave a good impression on Amitamaru and fill him with hope for the battle ahead. With Yo's encouragement, Amitamaru gains the confidence he needs to face the challenges ahead and fight with all his might. They are interrupted by Silver, an overseer of the Shaman tournament sent by the supervisors to test Yo's strength and determination. The time has come for Yo to prove his worthiness to participate in the Shaman fight. With powerful spirit animals as his ally, Silver challenges Yo to deliver a meaningful blow at him if he wants to be qualified for the tournament. If Yo fails, he will have to wait 500 years for the next tournament. Yo attempts to hit Silver with his sword, but Silver's powerful mana energy makes it impossible for Yo to land a hit. Silver gives his spirit's physical form, allowing him to grab and throw Yo away. Knowing that physical attacks won't work, Yo switches tactics and uses spiritual attacks instead. 
he notices Silver channeling five animal spirits through his rings using a technique called Oversoul. Yo decides to learn the technique and channels Amitamaru's soul through his sword, making it light and flame. Silver retaliates by creating a powerful cannon with his spirit animals, releasing explosive energy. But Yo uses his spirit blade to stop the attack and strikes back, cutting Silver's headband in half. With a display of skill and strength, Yo passes the test with flying colors and is given an oracle bell from Silver. This bell will guide him through the next stage of the tournament, and Yo is one step closer to becoming the Shaman King. Yo receives a message from his oracle bell, which tells him that he has three preliminary matches in the first stage of the tournament. If he loses or forfeits two out of those three matches, he will be disqualified from the tournament, and his bell will be taken away. Manta worries about his friend's chances, but Yo's carefree attitude puts him at ease. Yo heads to the battle destination where his first opponent, a powerful shaman called Horohoro, is waiting for him along with his spirit ally Kororo, a high spirit of nature. Horohoro tries to draw out Amitamaru by using the Oversoul technique to channel mana through his skateboard to attack. Yo, however, manages to channel his own mana to summon his flame sword. Their weapons clash with each other as the flames from Yo's sword and the mana from Horohoro's skateboard create dazzling sparks. When Horohoro throws icicles at Yo with his oversoul, Yo finds himself cornered and trapped. But with his remarkable agility, Yo is able to evade the icicles and push back, momentarily pausing the fight. Horohoro reveals his dream of becoming Shaman King to restore Kororo's natural habitats that are at risk of extinction due to human expansion, impressing Yo. This emotional moment moves Yo, and he promises to help Horohoro achieve his dream, no matter what it takes. However, Anna intervenes and gives Yo a swift kick to bring him back to reality and refocus on the task at hand. With a renewed determination, Yo pledges to fulfill Horohoro's dream once he becomes Shaman King. The fight between Yo and Horohoro is intense as Horohoro unleashes a barrage of icicles. But Yo is ready with his shield and flame sword. When Horohoro tries to trap him, Yo cuts through the icicles with the help of a Minamaru in oversoul form. In a final desperate move, Horohoro uses all his mana energy to throw a mass of snow ice at Yo. But Yo stops the attack with his flame sword and surprises Horohoro with a fierce battle cry. With no more options left, Horohoro is left defenseless. Yo takes advantage of this and strikes him from above with a powerful slash of his flame sword, defeating him in a dramatic blow. But later, as Yo is gazing up at the starry sky, he starts to contemplate about the hardships of life and how sometimes dreams don't come true. That's when Manta steps in to remind Yo of the true responsibility that comes with being a shaman king, the responsibility to make the world a better place for everyone. Manta explains to Yo that he can't just focus on his own dreams and goals, but rather he must use his powers and influence to help others fulfill their dreams as well. It's a heavy burden to bear, but Yo realizes that it's a responsibility he must accept if he wants to become a true king. Yo reaches the location for his second fight, where Johan Faust, a necromancer, is waiting for him. Faust is fighting in the tournament to bring his wife, Eliza, back to life, which Manta questions. Enraged by this, Faust attacks Manta, causing Yo to jump into action to protect his friend. Faust summons an army of skeletons to fight against Yo. Despite being wounded, Yo refuses to give up and does his best to protect Manta, whom Faust wants to dissect. Yo uses his flame sword and Amitamaru to fight against Faust's army of skeletons. Faust doesn't understand why Yo is trying to protect a human. Anna explains that Yo has always been alone. Every other kid always called him a child demon because of his brother. But Manta was the only one who accepted him and became his one and only friend. Yo uses the last of his mana to break Eliza's skeleton causing Faust's fighting will to shatter. However, with no mana left, Yo falls to the ground and loses the fight. Yo wakes up in the hospital bed with bandages covering his wounds. He feels defeated and disappointed in himself for losing the fight. As he lay there reflecting on his loss, he makes the difficult choice to push Manta away in order to keep him safe. He doesn't want to see anyone else get hurt because of him. Yo tells him they can no longer be friends and pushes him away, but Manta leaves the room in tears. Yo realizes that he has hurt Manta deeply and he feels guilty for his actions. In order to qualify for the second stage of the tournament, Yo has to win the final fight against his rival, Ren. To prepare himself, he goes to his grandpa's house where he undergoes rigorous training that involves being trapped in a cave and finding his way out. He faces many challenges along the way, but after seven days, he emerges from the cave with increased mana and an evolved oversoul form. As the night wears on, Yo takes a moment to talk to Manta and apologize for pushing him away. 
he expresses his gratitude for Manta's unwavering support and friendship, and the two reconcile. Yo then proceeds to demonstrate his enhanced skills by stopping his grandpa's powerful attack with a single strike, leaving everyone in awe. As the day of the final battle arrives, the two rivals face off determined to prove their strength. Ren channels his mana into a spear, ready to attack, but Yo defends himself with his shield. Ren charges forward, trying to break through Yo's defense, but Yo's oversoul form blocks all the attacks, frustrating Ren. Yo takes advantage of the opening and unleashes a powerful flame attack, but Ren's powerful mana allows him to withstand it. In a single swing of his spear, Ren sends Yo flying away and follows up with a fierce punch that knocks Yo to the ground. After standing up, Yo realizes that Ren's mana is unrivaled so he decides to trust the Mitamaru and remains calm. This unexpected strategy shatters Ren's confidence, causing his unbreakable oversoul to waver and allowing Yo to make a vital strike. Seeing his power slipping away, Ren integrates two spirit allies into himself to launch a daring and risky last attack. Yo, with his cool and calculating head, thinks of unconventional solutions and creates something from nothing, unlike Ren who takes rash decisions due to his anger. Instead of blocking the attack, Yo decides to take Ren's attack head-on. As they both go into offensive mode and attack, their weapon clashes, causing the destruction of the surroundings. Both of their mana drains to zero at the same time, and Yo and Ren pass the test with flying colors, allowing them to participate in the further stages of the tournament. Yo is filled with joy and excitement after winning the preliminary matches, bringing him one step closer to meeting and defeating his brother. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.